Good afternoon, Star Wars fans and collectors. Hope you're all doing well. Um, just finished work about an hour ago. It was excellent. So got one day left before a five-day weekend. Because of course the Easter break, the bunny's coming. No, um, yeah, no, he is. Trust me. Um, had to stop at the supermarket to get some milk so I could have my coffee next tomorrow morning before work. Just give me that little up and go. Um, just popped in my local Woolworth supermarket. See, oh, I thought I'd have a look and see what Star Wars figures. They've never got anything. There's nothing happening in Australia at the moment. Um, everything's being shipped over here on a bloody on a bloody canoe. So, thanks Hasbro for that. But it would seem as though the canoe has finally reached our shores because they had a heap of the new Clone Wars figures. Um, can't remember what waves they are exactly from they're from 2010. So we're getting everything in probably four or five months after people have got them in the States and I'm not sure how they're going over in the UK but um, and elsewhere in the world for that matter but we certainly haven't been getting anything particularly in vintage which we've got wave one, two and four and that's all we've got and the only reason they gave us four is because they forgot to send us three so unlucky but we can wait a little bit longer we've had to learn to have patience but um, the figures are I've picked up one. I didn't have a lot of money on me, so it was a tough decision, almost life-changing decision. <laughs> but now I picked up Quinlan Voss for the Clone Wars. That is the box that he comes in. It's a box. Everyone's seen the packaging. If you haven't seen any Star Wars packaging, you're either living under a rock or you just don't look at things like that. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, really stoked about this guy. It was a, well, I sort of had to toss up between him. Um, it was that Chuck T. And the other one I was debating whether to get was Embo as well. But I've actually got one, a carded one, coming from Interstate um, that I bought off eBay for a pretty reasonable price. So... That should be here any 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 day. So I'm hoping today or tomorrow. Otherwise, I have to wait till after the Easter weekend. But yeah, it comes with this um I put it, little. You've all seen it. I'm sure you've all seen it. If you've seen reviews on Quinlan Voss, you've seen this thing. Probably don't need to explain it too much. It's just a little rocket board. It's got peg holes. Um little hole in the front there you can slot his lightsaber in so it sticks out the front um, his lightsaber has a really long hilt like unusually long I'm not sure if it was like that in the show so I'll have to have a look and let's say yeah this just looks a bit silly to me a little bit impractical I don't see why a Jedi would need a uh, skateboard thing like this so he can go slicing and dicing and poking people with it so I think it's just occupational health and safety there. But oh well. Um, yeah, as with normal Clone Wars and Saga Legends, they come with the little dice, which I've got about, I don't know, must be close to 50 of them. And the little game card, which obviously aimed at the, the younger Star Wars fans, just give them something else. Um, you know, as I was saying, I'm really excited to get this figure. He looks fantastic. Articulation is superb. Um, really nice paint apps on him and whatnot. Got a nice little crest on his shoulder shoulder plate there. I don't know if you can see that very well. As I've said before, my lighting is horrible and the camera built into the webcam, into the laptop is not cutting it. But as I said, it will do. Um, he has ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders. Although they don't really, that one certainly doesn't come up because of the armor plate on his shoulder. That one comes up about that far. He's got the ball jointed elbows, uh, swivel wrist, swivel waist, ball jointed hips or thighs. I don't know, depends what you want to call them. Um, so he can do the splits. 
don't know why someone like Quinn Voss would need to, but <laughs> pretty cool. Um, ball joint and knees and ball jointed ankles. So you can have him doing some pretty far out kung fu sort of stuff. Or ballerina. So that is Ballerina Quinlan Force. <laughs> Put him in a nice pink leotard or something and have him join the Olympics. I'm sure that would go down well. <laughs> but no, very nice. He's got the soft goods, so that really adds to that articulation of his hips or legs, thighs. Um. Not really a lot else I can say. It's Quinlan Voss. You've seen him in the episode, so you know what he looks like. And you've all probably seen reviews on this guy already, so nothing really new, but I just wanted to show it, so. Because I'm pretty happy with it. So, yeah, that's um, another review in the bag. Um, let me know what you think. Have you got this one? Do you want to get it? Not appeal to you? Does it appeal to you? What not? Um, comment. Let's go down there somewhere. Up there. Up there. I think there. Depending on how you're watching it. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop jibber jabbering on. Talking crap. And I will see you all very soon with another video. Thanks guys. Bye.